Thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Falls from Iron. I'm Gatesy, and this is our series, You Are the Manager. Now, as he says there, it's with Russ Budden of My Hammers 11. But, 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 those of you that watch Russ's lunchtime show may already know this, but we had a bit of trouble, Russ and I, managing to find a time that worked for, for both of us. So Russ was very, very kind, and he did this completely off his own back. So, you know, thanks, Russ. I do appreciate it. He recorded his purchases of this particular series. So for anybody that's watching that doesn't know what the hell's going on, basically what we do here is we take the guest and we put them in the shoes of David Moyes in the summer transfer window. We give them an £85 million budget. And just say, OK, you go out and you spend it on players as you see fit. And if, if you run out of money and you still want to strengthen, you can dip into the free transfer market. No problem. So Russ went away and we used them, the valuations of the players as on transfer market, rightly or wrongly. This is just a bit of fun, guys. So, you know, it's not to be taken too seriously. I know that the players are probably going to go for more in the real world, but it's just a bit of fun. Um, so Russ, as I say, he very kindly did this video, which I've edited into segments um, and we're going player player for player. And you can obviously join in and, and make any comments as you see fit, whether you think it's a good signing that Russ is making, bad signing somewhere in between. Just, you know, give us give us your involvement and um, we'll have a little bit of fun along the way, hopefully. So I'm going to shut up waffling. And I'm going to play the first part of Russ's video. And um, as I say, I'll be back and we'll we'll see see what you think and, and we'll keep going from there. So hope you enjoy it, guys. Hi, everybody. Russ and my hammer's 11. So um, me and Gator can never manage to get the right time to see to see each other to do this so what i thought is i'll just record it record how i'd spend my 85 million pounds if i was the manager and then um and then you could all comment about it and see if it's crap or not um for me there's there's some positions that we're that we're crucial we need to invest in um i i'm adamant we need to get a goalkeeper in i'm adamant we need to get a left back in um a center back um a, a midfielder a couple of midfielders really i'd say one more box to box midfielder one attacking midfielder um and at least one if not two strikers so actually i've got one two three four five six seven players and i haven't even spent all the 85 million i've still got a bit of money left in january when we're obviously pushing for europe you know those those qualifying stages and in the group stages of europa and we've qualified for that and you know we need, might be a couple extra reinforcements so i haven't spent all 85 million um so there we go i can keep that 10 million left i think i've got about 72 million altogether um so let me show you who i've who i've so so for, as i said first off the bat i'm really keen to get a um a goalkeeper and obviously the guy i want i haven't sort of deviated it's sam johnston so sam johnston today is available for, it says on tra transfer market for 7.2 million an absolute steal he won't go for 7.2 million. We know that's the case. But for me, he is an absolute steal and um, and definitely one we should be investing in straight away. He's a great player, uh, a great goalkeeper, great shot stopper as well. And uh, I just think I just think he's great. I really think he's a great goalkeeper um, and, and, a, and one we can invest in for many years. That's the only issue with Fabianski, in my opinion, is we got him about two or three years too late. Um, he could have... If we got him before he went to Swansea, for example, he would be in the same sort of league as people talk about McCloscoe, I'd say, um, and Robert Green. He's always sort of in the in the mix, but never the first name on the team sheet in terms of your favourite 11s and things like that. So I would definitely invest in Sam Johnson. That would be an investment which would be uh, which would hopefully lead to eight, nine years maybe of having a, a number one goalkeeper. And I'd get him in now. So he could compete with Fabianski next season because Fabianski, he's got one year left in his contract. And for me, um, you know, he he's, he's he openly admitted he's not going to stay. He's not going to retire after this that last year. So he want to get he want to get a good club as well. So, you know, two goalkeepers vying for the number one jersey isn't a bad thing. I remember when Adrian and um, Darren Randolph were doing that and both had to perform. 
And I don't think Fabianski's had a come a rival to that shirt for for a few years at least. Probably since he joined, to be perfectly honest. Um maybe Adrian to some big degree, but he was always gonna leave, I think. Um so that's what I would do and just let them battle it out. And with enough and with so many games coming up, we need to have two good goalkeepers. Especially as Fabianski a couple of times last season got injured, didn't he, during the warm-up and Darren Randolph had to drop in. And nothing wrong with Darren Randolph. He's a great number two, great cup keeper. But I think Sam Johnson is a, is, is the real deal. And I'd love to get him before someone like Watford get him, for example. So that's that's the first purchase. So that's his first purchase. So goalkeeper Sam Johnston now. So let's just get him up on transfer market. So there he is, Sam Johnston. He's currently on the books of West Brom, who obviously went down from the Premier League uh, and the season just finished. He's rated at 7.2 million on transfer market. His contract goes for another year as of the 30th of June. He's 28 years of age. He's from Preston. He's an England international. 37 appearances last season, 74 goals conceded. I got to say that on paper, that doesn't look great, but he was playing behind a very porous defence. I mean, they were so leaky. It's just ridiculous. Um, So um, six clean sheets. And as far as his international pedigree is concerned, he's got one cap for the full England national team. He had three caps for the under 20s, 13 for the 19s, 14s for the 17s and one for the 16s. Uh, He's also put Manchester United, Aston Villa, Preston, Doncaster Rovers um, and Yeovil Town and Walsall and Scunthorpe, Oldham. So, you know, he's he's served his time and he's now coming to a stage in his career where he's obviously got an England cap. So you'd like to think that really he needs to be playing regular first team football in the Premier League if he's got aspirations of playing for his country. So that's Russ's first signing through the door. Sam Johnston for 7.2 million. Who's next? Next one, left back. Now, obviously, we got we still got Masuaku, you know, Ben Johnson can play in there. And and you'll see throughout these selections that I haven't gone and bought, I'd say, ready-made replacements. Because I think, you know, our one to is good. It's a strong eleven, but it's just having that bit of extra quality uh, and quantity, so to speak, in the squad. So I would go with Lee, Lee Buchanan from Derby. 1.8 million on transfer market. So a res- relatively cheap um, English. Um, and he's played well for Derby, despite the fact that Derby had not having the greatest season. He's played all right. He has played all right. And I would get him in. I think he's a very strong uh, left back. Comes forward quite a lot. Uh, very attacking. Um, which is what you need nowadays. Left back isn't, you know, left backs aren't left backs anymore. Left backs are left wingers, and and Lee Buchanan is. Um, I think he's one of those guys who I think needs to go to the next level. A bit like Anto, um, Anton Anton uh, Robinson, Anthony Robinson, how he moved across um, to from Wigan to Fulham. I mean, he would be a great shout as well, but I think he'll go to someone like City. To be honest, I mean, he's only what is he? He's only twenty. Um, he's played England twenty ones, cut the caps, and I think he would do a really good job for us. Um, I think he had three or four assists last season, and um, needs to go to the next step. So that's what I would do. And one point eight million seems a good deal for him, to be honest. So, Lee Buchanan, bit of a curveball. Probably an awful lot of people who only look at the Premier League and La Liga and all the rest of it probably never even heard of this kid. But Lee Buchanan, if I just get him up on his transfer market page, just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. So, there he is, Lee Buchanan. Um, I'll just go full screen with that. So, there he is. He's a uh, um, from Mansfield. He's at Derby County at the moment in the Championship. His contract, again... Only has a year to run and transfer market rate him at 1.8 million. 20 years of age in the championship last season, 35 appearances, three assists. He's got two England under 21 caps, one for the under 20s and three for the under 19s. Default position is a left back, but he can also be deployed as a centre back. And yeah, he's, he's basically been at Derby. His entire career, as you can see there, um, he went there in 2010 as a youth and he's still there today. So Lee Buchanan is Mr. Russ Budden's choice 
as a left back coming in. And I noticed we've got a comment here from Kent. How are you doing, Kent? Hope you're well. Um, going back on the goalkeeper on uh, Russ's pick of Sam Johnston, he played loads of games. Johnston, him or Woodman for me. I mean, yeah, Freddie Woodman had a had a good good season in the championship. The only thing I'm a little bit concerned of is obviously it's the championship, and and you know, Kent, it's you know, are you going to get a goalkeeper from the championship? I suppose the good thing is, is we got Fabianski at the minute, you know, so that it would allow maybe a soft transition and maybe a bedding in period for any goalkeeper coming from the championship, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's fair enough. And uh, and you're also saying that the that Lee Buchanan gets your thumbs up. So, um, yeah, it looks like he's he's made a good signing there, potentially, Mr. Button. So he knows his stuff. So now he's got he's got a few more signings so that's two signings so we've got sam johnston the goalkeeper for 7.2 mil and lee buchanan from derby county left back for 1.8 million who's he bringing in next next up another guy from the championship this guy I've been raving about for a while it's it's ben ben cabango more than anything because he's got a great name Ben Cabango, what a great name. Um, but he's a he's a, a quality defender, quality centre back. We have he's Welsh. We have a good record with Welsh centre backs, i.e. Collins, i.e. Gabadon. Um, you know, so I would I would get this guy in 21 um from Swansea City, um, Welsh International. Um he's no he's i don't think he's no he, he, yeah he's done yeah he has made some welsh yeah he's that's a welsh cap there yeah, i think he made three or four appearances for wales um he i think he scored like four or five goals last season for swansea um a couple of assists as well um mobile um he's about 1.9 meters high as well so you know he's a he's a, he's a good commanding center back and at 21 you can get him in blood him in with you know dawson with Ugbonna, and I think he'll make a huge difference. And going forward, him, you got to think him, uh, Alves, potentially Diop, they could be our, our, our back three in, in, in years to come. So I would definitely invest in uh, in Ben. Probably more so than maybe getting uh, Milankovic from uh, Napoli. I know there's someone we're looking at. Um, I don't know, he's not on a free transfer. He's, his contract doesn't run out until next June, I think. And he'd cost £20 million. Pounds. I'd get this guy and he's younger. He's 6.3 and um, a lot more uh, potential there. A lot more money back value as well. We could obviously sell him five, six years time potentially as well if he doesn't stay with us. So Ben Cabango from Swansea, Wales International, ladies and gentlemen. And as Kent says here in the comments, um, Ben Cabango is a class act. Great. Sign him or Jake Cooper for me. Yeah, Jake Cooper from Millwall. I think he's, uh, despite the fact he's obviously a Millwall player, um, I think he's, he's a fantastic centre-back as well. Either one of them would absolutely work for me. So no problem at all. So we'll just get his... Um, his stats on transfer market. I'll just to share it with anybody there that's not terribly familiar with who this guy is and just to go full screen. So that is Ben Cabango. He's 21 years of age. He's currently on the books at Swansea City in the championship. His contract has got another four years to run as of the 30th of June. £6.3 million rating on transfer market. Default position as a centre-back in the championship last season. He made 30 appearances, four goals and two assists. Not bad from centre-back, it has to be said. Um, that is his one and only position. He's not someone that can drop into um, defensive mid or fullback or anything like that. Three caps for the Welsh national team, five for the 21s, nine for the 19s and one for the 17s. Um, and just looking here, he's been pretty much at Swansea all his days. He's had a spell out at the new saints in the welsh leagues but um yeah he's pretty much exclusively been a swansea player up to this point so yes an, another signing from the championship for mr budden and um yeah decent bit of value value signing there tom's just jumped in how you doing um basically the crack here tom is that Russ and I couldn't synchronize our diaries to make this work. So Russ has recorded his bits and pieces and I'm just playing the clips. So sit tight. You will hear from Russ, but he's not here live. So just one of those things. Um, so that's Ben Cabango, who joins Sam Johnston and Lee Buchanan. So is that his shopping over? 
No, of course it isn't. Don't be daft. Now, there's a little bit of a plot twist here. Uh, well, I'll say no more, but some people might not find this next one too popular. Next up, my big money purchase. I wouldn't get Lingard. Oh, shock. I'd get this boy, James Boyd Prowse. I think James Ward Prowse, JWP, is a fantastic player. And I think he needs to be playing at a, a, a more prominent club than Southampton. No disrespect to him. Great player. Um, great team, Southampton. But I'd love to see him at West Ham. Just for his, you know, traditionally we're, you know, this season particularly, um, set plays have been our forte. We've scored a lot of goals from set plays. I think we're at the top, if not we're one of the top teams in the Premier League. Could you imagine this boy's left foot, right foot rather, he's kicking out his right foot, Russ. Uh, his right foot whipping in those balls with Cresswell whipping in the balls with the left. Unbelievable. I'd play him in the three as well, potentially as well. Um, and I think for 27 million compared, considering Lingard is, you know, touted 20 to 25 million, this boy's got a couple of years on him as well. And um, and it's just from assists. I think he's great. I like James Ward Prowse. He was gutted he didn't get in the England squad, same as Jesse. Um, I would have got him in the England squad just for his set plays, just bringing in those corners, last 20 minutes, throw him on, just getting pinging balls in. Um, and you can imagine Suchik on the end of these balls or, you know, or, or centre-backs, you know, Ogbonna, uh, Cabango, if we got him in, you know, Dawson, just whipping these in would be amazing. So 27 million quid for him uh, on, on transfer market. Obviously, these are, you know, it's usually double, to be honest, but that's what transfer market is saying. So that's what I'm going with. So we've got four so far. Next one. Um, so I'd see jwp is more of a box-to-box -box midfielder um which is what we want so as a as a you know not replacement but um competing with i'd say four nails as well because i think four nails works well in that three as a box-to-box -box midfielder he would do the same um and it'd be a good competition for them too um but also he could play deep as well if rice got injured for example or suchek got suspended you know, you, you've got the option there of him playing slightly deeper role as well with, with the other one, whether it's Sujic or Rice, um, or even Fournell's playing that and he played a slightly more advanced role. But what I would like to get is obviously with Lingard, he was a more of attacking midfielder, in my opinion. So I want to get one in because um, I think we need that sort of attacking nature. We need someone to compete with Ben Rama, with, with Bowen, people like that. Well, look who's turned up. Hello. Well done. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you doing it, mate? I'm all right. So I just finished my dinner. And I thought, oh, shit, I'll get them on. Oh, sorry. I'll crack them on before I come in and I say hello. Ah, that's all right. Pleased to have you, mate. So you've you've got in Sam Johnston. We've got, yep. We're up to, obviously, um, you've just seen him, the plot twist. You're not getting in Jesse Lingard. No. No, 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 no. I'm not getting Jesse Shock Lingard. Horror. Uh, and I just think... We've got enough around our squads. The thing, so that's why I wanted J, JWP in because I just thought, I was talking to Tom about this actually, Tom B, the other day. Um, him just pinging in those free kicks hmm. to, you know, we're, we're a, very much an aerial threat. Just imagine how many goals Suchet would get or Craig Dawson with like just the, just the skill of his, of his, uh, of his free kicks. Uh, I think he's great. Yeah. I think he's absolute mustard. Yeah. I mean, Again, just to sort of got his, his bits and pieces up there on transfer market. So I'll just go full screen with this. So if anybody wants to see this guy at home, I'm sure pretty much everybody knows about this guy. But Premier League player at Southampton, 26 years of age, £27 million on transfer market, 38 appearances in the Premier League, eight goals, seven assists. Correct me if I'm... Yeah, he is. He's, he's Southampton's captain. So he brings some leadership mm. skills to the table as well. Yep, Definitely. And I think that's what you need. I, just, I think it's it's a nice it's a nice blend. I think with him, and yeah. I think he needs he needs to go somewhere. He he needs to move. You know what I mean? He needs to go somewhere. Otherwise, he'll end up being at like the Tizier and, and stuff like that. And mm. I think if I think he'll uh, also you know he wants to break into the England squad like consistently. Uh, arguably, he'll have to go somewhere else. I think because the same. Well, yeah. <laughs> well no, he did it. We had a good good run with Jesse Lingard, but you know what I mean. So. Um, I just think he's uh, I just think he's absolute mustard, JWP. Yeah, yeah. Ken's just making the point he's a Pompey fan, but I couldn't care less. 
nah, if, he, right. if he came in and did a job, Kent, then to be perfectly yeah. honest, he could support Millwall. It wouldn't bother me as long as he, <laughs> as long as he did the job in Claret and Blue. I exactly. really couldn't care less. Really couldn't exactly. care less. But just looking there, I mean, he played every single minute last season. Yeah. I mean, that's, that is, you know, that is absolutely incredible. You know, 38 games, every single minute, just nuts. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, mental. So looking there, his, his main position is obviously central mid, but he can be deployed as a right mid or as an attacking midfielder. He's got eight caps for the national team, one goal, and he's basically spent his entire career at Southampton. So, yeah, may, maybe he might want to sort of venture into pastures new. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, I 26 he's now, isn't he? He's 20, well, he's 26 now, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? So it's like, <clears throat> you come to, a point, <clears throat> come to a point where, you know, it, you... He's been there all his career. It's it's a make or break, I think, in the next season or so for him, mm. what he's going to do, whether he's going to stay there. Because once you're about 30, 31, well, like, where are you going to go? Do you know what I mean? So I think he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's got sort of at least one more big move in him. And so why not? Why not the mighty Amers in the, in the mighty Europa League? Exactly. You know, I mean, with all due respect to Southampton, they've never really got close to qualifying for Europe no. since he's... Been a player there, has he? So exactly. Why not? Why not? Why we not? know people want to go. We know people. You know, yes, it's an attraction, Europe, and and so it should be. And and the fact is that we're in it now, so we should be attracting new players. Um, I know there's everyone's talking about Tukovsky. Oh, he didn't want to come, but he didn't want to come to school in Europa League. Now we're in the Europa League, mm. what's to come to us? That's the whole point of being in the Europa League. So yeah, uh, exact players, didn't you? Exactly. That's the whole point of it. Man. That's the whole point. Yep. So. I'm not going to bother playing the rest of the clips because obviously the main man's here. That was yeah. the whole point. But since you're here, so who was the next player then, Russ, off of the next player? Of so your conveyor belt. I'm, I'm trying to remember. So obviously we got we got him in. So yeah, I mean I, I wanted an attack because obviously Lingard had the, the attacking threat, and obviously by not him not us not or me not signing him, I wanted to have that attacking threat. So yeah. uh, again, I'm delving into the championship again, uh, and I'm going for Reading's Michael Oise. Michael mm. Aloise, uh, who, uh, he, I mean, again, been reading all, uh, he's only had like a couple of seasons there now. Um, but he is mustard. This boy is mustard. I'm telling you, 19. We could pick him up with, uh, you know, it's 11 voices, well, 10. I can't remember my, uh, originally, but that doesn't mean Um, I've made enough money because Sam's a lot cheaper than he, than, than when I did it, so that's okay. Um, <laughs> so but he's he's brilliant and. Arguably, you know, again, a not particularly attractive team uh, this season, Reading, um, but he's been a breakout. There's a couple of them. There's another guy at Reading called El Ov El Javi, who's a good player yep. as well. Um, could do the double. I've actually both got him up at the end, actually. I've got him oh, prepared go. already. Good, <laughs> good. So I just think this guy's mustard. He's, uh, he's attacking um, and he's, uh, you know, a little bit sort of, a little bit, you know, uh, he's he's very unpredictable on the ball. Um, he's a bit exciting. He'd get us off our seats. He's young. And that's why I try to buy, like, young players. So even if they don't make it at West Ham, you can flip them for double the money. Or, or you, you, get, you get an increase on, on your investment. So even like Lee Buchanan, if yeah. Lee, Lee Buchanan didn't make it, then we'd sell him for £4 million. And if he bought him for two, for example, so you doubled your money on him. So... And that's why I think we're doing more. That's why, you know, if someone like him, I mean, Michael always, I mean, he's 19. He only needs a couple of good seasons. You can flick him for 20 million if you really wanted to, um, playing in the Premier League and stuff like that. So he's going to be the boy. Well, I think Kent agrees with you. It looks me like and Kent. Kent. Me, me, Kent's, me and Kent is my, Kent's my director of football. Yeah. Yeah. And Ajaria had, had, as he says there, he was at Liverpool and he did have yes. a loan spell at Rangers. So, yeah. You know, he's, he's tested himself in men's football. Exactly, exactly. And I just think uh, Michael's had a really, you know, check him out on YouTube. He's had some really good, some really good, you know, highlights this season. He's had a really good season um, in, a, in a relatively, you know, okay Reading team. You know, he was not there for perfect year. Did they? But... No, but I mean, he, I mean, himself, you know, I think, I don't know whether Reading finished this season, but he finished, I think he was still nominated for EFL, uh, young player of the season, I think yeah. this season. So, you know, fair play to him. You know, fair play, fair play. Fair enough. So, just to go full screen again for the people at home that don't know too much about this fella, which perfectly understandable. He's a championship player for Reading. 
He's got another year left on his contract as of the 30th of June. £10.8 million rating on transfer market. He was born in London, but he's a French citizen. But I believe he can also play for England. I think I read up Algeria, Nigeria as yeah. well. He can play for. Look at this. 44 appearances in the championship. Seven goals. 12 assists. That's ridiculous. I told you. I told you. Sign me up, David. I can get you. I can get these players for you, Moisey. That is nuts. And and, yeah. and as you say, not in a. It's not like he was playing in a team that was running away, like a Norwich that no, ran away. No, no, exactly. Yeah. You know, he was playing against a, a okay average Reading team, and he's he's shone. He's absolutely shone. He's got mm. two caps for the under twenty, the under eighteens France team. Default positions attacking midfield. He can also be played in central midfield or right midfield. And just looking here, he's, he's um, yeah, he's, he's previously with Chelsea Youth. But it did, I, I had a look on um, uh, Wikipedia and it did say, oh no, sorry, I'm thinking of the other fella. Sorry, no, he's, um, it's the other fella that's been, had the spell at uh, Reading, forgive me. I've got uh, Reading, Rangers. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, well, I, know, actually, yeah. <laughs> I knew what yeah, I meant. Yeah, I knew yeah we I knew, we knew. Yeah, but I mean, 12, 12 assists, seven goals in 44 appearances at the age of 19. I mean, that's... In the championship as well. Pretty you know what good. I mean? Could you imagine when... I mean, championships are, is a right tough league as well. So, you know, to play 44 games where it was in the championship next last season, mm. that ain't bad. You know, he's, it means it, to me, it means he's, he's he's got something about him, but also he's got a bit of strength about him because you have to be. You have to be strong in that championship. We know they get kicked up to buggery you know Michael Carrick never cut it really in the championship um and and so you know it's and it, Jermaine Defoe I, mean, I suppose when he was Bournemouth but when he was us he didn't but you know so I just think for a, whether it is you know 10 million I think he's a good shout they also have enough, well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's stretching so, a bit Tom to be fair a little bit a little bit Tom but now you you had two more signings when you um when you did the recording, um, yeah. One of whom has been linked with the club, but one of whom was, and uh, not so much. So talk us through your your last two signings that you did on the recording. Yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, I've gone. For, so basically, I said it's all the different positions, uh, midfield, and then I went, I went two strikers. Now I didn't want to go out and spend forty million pounds on a striker because. We've done that before, and yeah, yeah. and you know, and I I like to put our egg, I don't like to put all our eggs in one basket, and I don't think Moisey's the type of person who'd got type of manager who's who's used to spend or will spend that amount of money on one player. He will spread yeah. it round. I mean, he, he, even I mean, Ben Rama was a bit of a a different kettle of fish, so to speak. So I've gone for two strikers for the price of one, basically. So about twenty million pounds, but splitting it between two. The first one is the guy I've wanted for a long time. Um, because I mean he's eight, I think he's eighteen. Uh, obviously, it's a Czech boy. Um, it's it's Adam Losek. Uh, Losek, I don't know how it yet, but that's who I want. That's the boy I want. I think he is special, a very special player. You see the teams that are up for him are looking at him. Mm. That's not, you know, they've got scouts all over the world and they're looking at this guy as well. Uh, we've got an advantage. We have the Czech advantage, which we need yep. to. We need to basically, you know, rinse for as much as possible to get this boy. Because this boy, 15, whatever it is now, he's going to be, he's going to be up there, man. He's, I think he's going to be up there with Christ, you know, Lewandowski's and, and that sort of, you know, that sort of ilk of player. You know, he's really, he's really, really that good. Um, and I really want us to go all balls out for him, to be honest. I really do. Yeah. Not that I'm advocating tapping up for one moment with at all, but <laughs> no, he is in Euro 2026. We all know it goes on. We yeah. all know it goes on. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that you know if if Moyes is interested in this kid, I'm sure that he's had a word with Thomas Socek and Vladimir Sufal. You know, have have a, have a little see how see how the land lies. You know what I mean, sort of thing. Exactly. You know, don't don't be sort of silly about it. But we all know it happens when, when oh Moyes yeah up for international duty. We know it goes on. Without a doubt, without a doubt, and I think he's—I think you know—he's—he's, he's, you know—I just think he's a 
the type of role we we have, the type of role we need a striker for to fit in the Moy system. You know, I'm going to buy players that fit in the system rather than trying to fit a system around a player. And and, yeah. and this boy's quick. He's he's going to hassle defenders, and that's what we want. We want guys who can play up on their own. You can run down the channels like Antonio. Um, I mean, he's eight. It he was eighteen now. He, I mean, he ain't he ain't a slouch. You know, he's he's quick. And he could, he's, I've seen some of his clips before where he's been, you know, he's held off, you know, defenders and stuff. You know, he's not, it's not a pushover. Um, yeah. But I just think he's, and as you said, with the Czech boys, with the ambassador as well, the ambassador could have a yeah. word. You know, we've got, yeah. you know, with the yeah. Ferrer, you know, all the stars Ferrer, could align. He could be in exactly. Claret Blue next season. A few Ferrer Rochers his way. Yeah, especially if you manage to, to tempt him. I, I don't know. Sort of, what what could you tempt? What could you sway the deal with, Mister Budden? I don't know. Sort of like, um, what what does what does Hornchurch have to offer Adam Lossek? Oh, exactly. I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest, I mean the yeah. shop down the road. You've got oh my cods. Yeah, you've got Nugs, the only UK uh, chicken nugget restaurant. Um, oh. Which, which is very nice. I, I've, 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 I've partaken once previously on that. Um, there's, there's, you've got an Ando, so you've got, you know, we've got Aziz, we've got all, all of them. We've got Wimpy. Oh, we've still got Wimpy, you, go. you know, so... Why would he not want to come? Why would he not you want know, to he come? Could, he could play he at London Stadium, exactly. train, at, train at the high-tech facilities at Rush Green, and yeah. go to Nando's in Hornchurch. I mean, what and then, more uh, could he ask He could even jump in the pool. I've got the pool out. He's more than welcome. He might not be here by the time he signs. Uh, or he, well, maybe August, but maybe not by, you know, the mm -hmm. end of August. It's rubbish. Well, it depends how good the weather is, isn't it? But yeah, he, yeah. he's more than welcome. To, more than welcome to. This Kent, is Buddham. Kent's asking you a question, Russ. Um, have you had Luke Jeffcott or Kiefer Moore both worth a look? No, I, but Kiefer Moore, I like him. I've been watching. I've, I've, mm. I never didn't really know much about him until obviously the last couple of Wales games. He's he's a he's a battering ram, isn't he? he, he yeah, he seems to he seems to be very mobile, but gets it about a bit, and I like that. I like that. that's sort of alluding to my second, my last one, to be honest, a bit like that. Yeah. Bef before we get to that, again, just for the people that are not too sure about this kid, so just to go full screen with it, he's Sparta Prague's player at the moment. He's contracted until June thirtieth, twenty twenty four. Rated at fifteen point three million on transfer market. He's eighteen years of age, so we're buying an awful lot of potential here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, his default position is a centre forward. Now, this this is really super impressive. Nineteen league appearances, fifteen goals, eight assists. I mean, come on, that's that's absolute madness. You know, stats wise, mm. he's a centre forward by trade. He can also play on either flank. And for the Czech national team, he's got four caps for the full. Current rumours, forty five percent. Yeah, yeah, it's dropping though. <laughs> It's dropping. That's the only thing. It's going in the wrong direction. We need you to pick the phone up, Mister Budden. We need you to we'll sell sell Hornchurch to him. You know, we'll have words. We'll have words. So, but he's got he's got caps for the, the Czech Republic at twenty ones, seventeen, sixteens, and fifteen. Mm. So again, he's got a, a long pedigree, and um, he's been at Start Sparta Prague basically all you know since he signed pro forms in the under seventeen. So you know, it, it could well be that maybe. You know, may, maybe the offer of, of the pool in Hornchurch might sway it for him. I don't know. Could do. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know if he's got a pool in Prague. Yeah. Well, we're only assuming. Know. We're assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they they live simple lives in in the Czech Republic. I mean, you know, used to be behind the Iron Curtain and all that. I mean, times were tough. Probably they didn't know have... what a pool. His parents probably didn't know what a pool was. So. Chlorine, you know, no and as chance. Tom says, there that is that is impressive. More that goal impressive, involvements yeah. and appearances that is absolutely insane. So is that is striker number one. But as you said, you've got two strikers coming in. You're yeah. not sort of I, happy with one, no? Because I don't think I don't think we have. I don't think we should be. Um, and so what I've done is where where Adam is slightly more a smaller, compact striker. Um, yeah. I. I think at times, ironically, we could have used him actually uh, in terms of Haller since since we sold him. Sometimes you want a bit of a uh, bit of a bigger yeah. just to knock some heads together a little bit. Particularly, I'm thinking cup games. I'm thinking, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're chasing goals. We might be playing yeah. lower league teams as well uh, in the you know, various cups. So I thought, you know, this guy he's been playing. He played well. He was on loan um, to. 
Barnsley, I think, from Orlando City. Mm. Um, American guy, Daryl Dyke, or Darren DK, I believe he, he pronounced his name, Daryl DK. Absolute yeah. unit of a man. He's, he, he's like, he's not Antonio. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. He is, and, and, and I think he would be, he would complement how we set up with Antonio now, but I wouldn't buy him as a first striker. I'd buy Hlosek as my first striker, but he's only 18. Um, but we still got Antonio and we'll have, if we have DK, we also have Mipu as well. So, you know, I think that would definitely give us some, some firepower and some different options. I think too often, too often we have one way and yeah. if a team figures it out, we're a bit, ah, crap. Yeah. We stuck, could then, yeah. Yeah, we could then throw this guy up or him and Antonio as a two up front and just lump it up and, and just get him just because he's quick as well. He's quick. He's a unit. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he's he scored, you know, I think I can't, but I mean, you'll show the score, the stats. I mean, he's, I think he scored like 10 goals or something like that, or nine, 10 goals for Barnsley this season mm-hmm. um, in about yeah. 20 games or something like that. So not a bad return. Not bad return. Yeah. I mean, you're cheap. right. You know, sometimes if, you know, if you've got a team that that's, has all the answers that you're, you know, to the questions you're you're throwing at them, you need to change the questions, don't you? Yeah. And that and will happen. And, and that's what that this, guy, this, this guy offers. And that yeah. will happen next season because they teams would have figured us out. You know, because yeah. it, because again, we were sort of that sort of, it was, it was almost like a one, you know, like when a, a championship side comes up, like when Wolves came up and had a fantastic first season and they got yeah. sort of found out a little bit. I think we'll struggle a little bit next season with those games, which we have been winning, um, where teams will just basically give us the ball and just let us, and just let us sort of play with it because we, ha- we were a counter attacking team. So just give us the ball. And then we're like, ah, so some guy is, as he said, as Kent said, we, yeah, knocking people over like skittles and, um, yeah, him and Antonio Christ up front, yeah, throw them both up oh, front and just the absolute batter carnage, them. Batter them. absolute carnage. So just to go full screen with this guy, um, Daryl Dyke, Daryl DK, you know, you say potato, I say potato, whatever. Yeah. Let's call the whole thing off. Um, he's a United States um, citizen from Edmond, Oklahoma. Centre forward by trade, £4.5 million rating on transfer market. Spent last season, as as we say, on loan to the championship Barnsley. But he's an Oklahoma City player. Oh, Oklahoma City? Orlando yeah. City, excuse Orlando me. Orlando City. Um, he's born in Oklahoma. Um, yeah. Championship stats, 19 appearances, 9 goals. You know, just just a little bit shy of a goal every other game. That's that's very very good. Um, Centre forward, no other positions. He's he's down as he's just a number nine, straight through the middle, as as the song goes. Um, only problem is, look at that current rumor. Probability of transfer of sixty five percent to Everton. They ain't got a you're manager. Have to get so on the phone. You're gonna got have a to manager. Get on phone. You're gonna have to. But, yeah, you know that's the thing. We've got a manager now, so we're okay. Did you know this? Do you know who he's the cousin of? Uh, no. He's the cousin of a former West Ham player. Emmanuel I just who it is. Yeah. Yay. There we go. Yeah. Maybe, maybe his cousin could sort of put in a good word for us. You never know. <laughs> he's an Orlando City player. He's had a loan spell at Barnsley. And he's done the rounds in America with a load of teams. Virginia Cavs and other teams that I'd be perfectly honest I've never heard of so mm. you know there you go but um he's proved himself in the championship could he could he make the step up do you think well obviously you think he's got the potential because yeah. otherwise you wouldn't have spent four and a half million on him Mr Manager and that's what I mean I mean four and a half million is a is a punt now isn't it where it used to be four and a half yeah. million was a good play nowadays four four I mean look Sue Fowler's fight was it four or five million? It was a punt, wasn't it? And 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 this is a punt. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a punt which is a not no disrespect to Mr. Hugel, but not a nine million pound signing of Jordan Hugel. You know, he's he's four and a yeah. half million and he's he score goals in the championship and he's a unit. You could see how he could just change the way we play. Um he ain't got bad as yeah, typically as they say, ain't got bad bad feet for a big guy as well. So mm. um I just think, yeah, I just think then you've got a nice balance. And again, you know, I think everyone I've sort of signed, apart from maybe JW and Sam Johnson's 27, or something, 27 right? everyone else is under the age of like 25 uh, and yeah. JWP is 26, but everyone else. So the, that's the whole idea is to a bit of quality, but a lot of, uh, yeah, a bit of quality, but a lot of quantity because, yeah. you know, we've got another half dozen games at least this season. Although we, although 
we've only got, I think we've only actually got four more games than we would have played last season if we didn't get if we don't get knocked out because we get yeah. a couple of round buys, don't we, in the League Cup? So uh, the League Cup, now in yeah. Europe. Yes. Is nice. it two rounds? I thought it was just the one. I don't. I can't. I, I can't remember. I thought we go. I thought the European teams going at round three, but do we go at round? T- I can't remember because yeah, we play, Premier League get going remember. at round two. Two. So, so we get an extra game. Well, it's only five yeah. games. We'll yeah. Think. Yeah. But well, um, so when you did this video originally, this was the end of the road, and you had still twelve point one million pounds in the kitty, mm. but. This fella, and I'll, I'll get him up on Transfer Market. I'll share it with you guys because I don't know. You might want to sort of, since since you're here live and you know personal, you might want to sort of like rethink this. So this is well, the I kid spoke, he was yeah, talking so about I mean, already. Uh, uh, yeah, three point I mean, six million. Yeah. I mean, you know, can I not tempt you? No, I think I think yeah, I think I think it's it, it would be a, a useful signing um, to get him in, and then we still have like nine million. Uh, something like back in the bank. I mean, he's this guy. I mean, I would have done. I I did it. I'd do a pair, a, a deal for the pair of them. You know, get the Reading boys yeah. in uh, and do a pair and do a deal for them. So, but this guy is central midfielder. Um, Azari. He's he's very. He he reminds me a little bit of Rear Coker mm. in terms of how he used to play. Um, dynamic, very, very dynamic midfielder. Um, yeah. But, you know, which I think stands out more in the championship than he does in the Premier League. Um, yeah. I think Kent's the at Liverpool, I think, and he was on loan and various others. So you know, he's, he's had pedigree. Um, but this season has been a bit of a standout season for him as well. And again, you know, those two have played, have both had a good season in a, in a relatively poor Reading team. So again, you know, that to me shows shows class above above their pay grade. So, yeah, let's get him in. Let's get him in. Let's so pad this midfield up. Yeah. Okay. So with your with your twelve twelve point one million, you're spending yeah. three point six of it on this kid. So you've got eight exactly. and a half mil left in your back nice. pocket, which you can spell spend on I don't know, more a bigger swimming pool, a bigger Big, swimming well, pool for I you. I might have Flo. to. I might have to and for Mrs. Adam Hossack if he wants if Adam wants to use it. So I might have to do that or some chairs <laughs> for the swimming pool. That's what I bought today. A chair for my swimming pool. So yeah, there we go. God, How the other half live? High life. Well, it's not really a chair. It's like one of those lilo things. And so I bought I bought two because that's my idea for Friday for the England game is I'm going to move with – so I've got my telly, so I'm going to move it into the double doors, open them up, take the pool and, and watch the England game in the pool. Woohoo! Yeah. It'd be like I'm in the LA. It'd be like I'm like my mate Sam in LA just like chilling. But no, I'm in Orange Church. It's probably going to piss down anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, don't say that. Don't it's going to piss down. It's going to piss down tomorrow, isn't it? We've just had no, a, we just had our, no. we've just had our loft done. We've literally just had our loft done, and they put a new Velux in. And so I'm going to have to go up and check tonight or tomorrow oh. when it rains to make sure it was in properly. Don't say that. No, I, I don't. It can rain tomorrow. That's fine. But when it comes to the weekend, just no, please don't. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, yeah. I'll just go full screen. I'll just get rid of Kent's comment. Do apologise there, Kent. Um, just go full screen again. Ovi Ajaria. 23 years of age, born in London, English citizen. He's £3.6 million worth of championship Reading player. He's on contract until the 30th of June 2024. Championship statistics were 38 appearances, three goals, five assists. He's an England under-21 international and under-20s. Central midfield is his default position. He can also be deployed attacking midfield and left midfield. So again, Mm. he's got some versatility about him. He's also... I've got dual citizenship because he can also play for Nigeria as well. And as we say, he went to Reading from Liverpool and he's had spells on loan at uh, at Reading as well and Rangers, Sunderland. So again, he's, he's gone out, he's, he's battle hardened, even despite his tender years. He's played league football, both sides of the border. And yeah, and you're, you're bringing him in. You're, you're yeah, him I mean, in. you've got I mean, eight and a half million left. Exactly. I mean, he's only just signed. I mean, he signed permanently for Reading, I think, last summer, anyway. So, but I think again, he's like he's a good player. And I just think we need to get these in. We need to get these youngsters in and and like quality and just dabble it there and a couple of extra bits. And because as I said, one to eleven, we've got a good we got a good team. One to eleven, it's not a problem. Mm. One to eleven, our first team's great. It's 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 the it's the backups. It's it's and that's what yeah. obviously cost us when we've got cost us necessarily. Injuries. 
Exactly. Injury suspensions. We've been very fortunate. We haven't had any key suspensions, so to speak. You know, we've had enough people to carry to carry the team when Dawson got suspended, or you know, we haven't been in a situation where Suchek or Rice was suspended. Obviously, Rice was injured. Um, but you know, that, that's why I think we've we've slightly fallen back a little bit where we could have been this season. And so yeah, because it's going to be tougher season next season. I think everyone's going to invest. And so, although the fixture list isn't too bad, is it for us? Not too bad. Newcastle away on the first game. And you know what? Yeah. My son and I were having a conversation and we turned around and said, we'll get Southampton some point over the Christmas period of Boxing Day. Yeah. And it's home fixture. Right. I know. I know. It's incredible. We'll I mean, the, I know. You know, for a club that wasn't meant to have a home fixture on Boxing Day, we've had two on the bounce. I know, I know. It's, it's. Uh, no, I, I think there was no the stadium. To be fair, I was there, but yeah, apart from that. Um, but yeah, there was and Leeds away on the twenty fifth. My birthday is twenty fifth of September, and I was going to oh. have a little party, so that's quite good. So I don't have to worry about, you know, having to go to the game and come back. Don't speak. So <laughs> there we go. It's <laughs> all it. worked out. Yeah, and did I think see, I think um, my. I was going to say, did you see Kent's comment? Ray Barnsley first of Callum Styles. Do you know what? I think there's so many good players in the championship. There's so many good players. I haven't, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do a bit of research. Thank you, my director of football. Um just to just to have a I'll, I'll be like Moisey, I have to look at the tape. So you know, before I before I commit. Yeah. But uh yeah, no, there are so many good players in the championship, man. There's so many good players. Um yeah. So this, yeah, this lad, one point four four, left midfielder. Yeah. I think, we're, I think, I think left sided. I think that's not necessarily a, a position I'd, I'd, I'd invest too much in. Yeah. Um, but one point four four. Let's have a look you at his I mean? stats. Forty two appearances, four goals, four assists. Not bad. No, it's not, not bad. bad at all for a twenty one year old in the championship for, for Barnsley. Left, left midfield, attacking midfielder, his positions. Uh, Barnsley, Berry. Yeah. Barnsley, Berry, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, this is the second time actually Kent's met. Kent sort of like has mentioned this fella a couple of times. So, Kent obviously rates this guy. So, Kent's the agent, one point four five million. Yeah, yeah. May, maybe a couple of brown envelopes involved. I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> um, <laughs> not with that hair, Kent. I know I can talk. <laughs> well, I've I've seen I've seen and and to be fair, Tom, I I. I I'd like some hair and I don't really yeah, care what too. it looked like, you know. Yeah, me and, too. Uh, we don't have the Mitchell oh, brothers at the moment. Look at this. He, he's he's really selling him up. now. He's, he's, he's really trying to agent. sell him to you. Definitely yeah, the agent. He's, he, he's on a few, Bob. He's on a few, he's, Bob. He's a bit of a, <laughs> a, bit of a bung. So what's that? That's uh, it was eight players in the end because it was originally seven, yeah. but then you've obviously brought in a Jaria, so now that's eight, and you've got eight and a half million left in the bank to give back to Mister Sullivan and say, put put that to you know improving Rush Green or whatever. Put that to you put know. that to getting in, yeah, to, to to an analyst department or something like that. Or give it to charity. Yeah, I think an analyst department. I think an analyst one because then obviously it means next time, next time we won't have to spend that so much money because. We'd already be targeting the guys that we should be buying next summer, but for a cheaper rate because we'd have picked them up before anyone spotted them. That's it. I like your thinking. And speaking of charities, before we before we sign out, I'm going to do my usual thing. Um, guys, this little girl needs your help, needs our help. Um, there's no doubt about it. And it's a race against time. So, you know, the crack. Young Isla Kate, and she's got neuroblastoma. She can't get the treatment for this in this country. So they've got to stop what they're doing, the family, and cart her around wherever it is that they can get the treatment for her to hopefully, fingers crossed and touch wood, save her life. Um, you've got a Just Giving um, link in the description below the stream on YouTube and on Facebook. There is no excuse for you to not at least copy this and paste it onto your social media platforms along with a little blurb on what this is all about. If you can put some money into the pot, even better still. But at the very least, just put it on your social media platforms because we need to try and keep the momentum behind this campaign. The clock is ticking and time is of the essence. So, you know, don't do it tomorrow. Don't do it next week. Do it right now. And I thank you very much indeed for your attention. And I thank you as well, Russ, for you making an appearance off the bench. Well, there we go. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah. Before we shift it. Yeah, I agree. I agree, agree with Ken's point. We, it's, it's not, I don't want to shift anyone out until we have the replacements already in. Because too often yeah. we send, we sell players. Ah, oh, bollocks. We need to get someone in. So, um, yeah, I totally it? Agree. yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it wasn't. Uh, it's one of those things where I think we have to, yeah, let's get them in before we ship them out. My Absolutely. pleasure, Gates. My pleasure, mate. <laughs> As I say, thanks. Thanks very much for coming along, mate. I really do appreciate it. Your time and everything. And, um, only one thing left to say before I hit the credits and end the broadcast, isn't there, Russ? There is. Come on, you irons. Come on, you irons. <laughs> Stay safe, guys. 